Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a map tour and initial impressions on a new map that dropped uh, for Farming Simulator 22 on the Mod Hub, I believe it was maybe yesterday. Uh, and then, uh, but this is a, a uh, map called Wastelands and uh, I'm just trying to get the information real quick and make sure. This is this, uh, this dropped yesterday, which I believe it did, but let me find out here real quick. Yeah, it dropped, uh, it dropped on the 21st of November 22. It is by FSPT. It's only rated, uh, 2 point, uh, how much was it rated in? 2.8 stars out of a user of 105. And the file size is 99.87 megabytes, uh, but it's available for PC and Mac and PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, and Xbox S. All right, let's uh, go ahead and preview this thing and see what it looks like. I can't wait to see uh, what we're going in. So when you first load up the map, it sounds like you can hear some frogs and uh, other wildlife. We got a garage here that you cannot enter whatsoever you have what looks like these boxes maybe this is interesting there's a uh oh this might be the store actually uh we would uh, repair vehicles right there and then we would buy something from here like so Yep, yeah, you could open your vehicle shop right here. Then you walk down this path. There's a couple trees. There's a little forest if you want to do some forestry and whatnot. So that's all cool. Uh, very first little bit is right over here. And there is some uh, additional stuff here. So let's see here. So we're right over here. So let's go ahead and look at... Ooh, so field 1 and 32 would be 777,572 or 576 dollars. Then in field, uh, let's go field 31, it'd be 47,160. If we bought this area, it'd be two, the whole entire map plus field 4 would be 2,490,108 dollars. If we bought field 21, it's $4,272 dollars. Field 22 is 6,960 dollars. Field 23 is 7,428 dollars. Field 24 is 8,340 dollars. Field 28 is 5,676 dollars. Field 27 is $6,084. Field 26 is $6,204. Field 25 is $6,588. Field 29 is $11,340. Field 30 is $5,208. Field 2 would be maybe a forest area. And then seven hundred sixty-three thousand seven hundred four dollars. Field three is two hundred seventy-six thousand four hundred fifty-six. I take it in field uh, new farmer mode. We have started off with field four, so if we sold it, it would be three hundred eighty-three thousand nine hundred eighty-eight dollars. Now, if we bought field five, it'd be three hundred seventy thousand three hundred twenty dollars. If we bought field seven. Is two hundred fifty-five thousand eight hundred ninety-nine dollars. If we bought field number eight, seven hundred forty-seven thousand nine hundred twenty-four. If we bought field number nine, it's ninety-nine thousand nine hundred twelve. If we bought field number six, it's three hundred thirty-seven thousand four hundred sixteen dollars. If we bought field eleven, it's forty-one thousand nine hundred twenty-eight dollars. If we bought field twelve, it's uh, five hundred eighty-one thousand three hundred fifty-two dollars. If we bought field 13, and $684,456. If we bought field 10, it's $41,988. Dollars. 
If we bought a field at 14, it's 161,904 dollars. If we bought a field 13, it's 684,456 dollars. If we bought field number 17, which is the forestry field, I think, this would be seven hundred seventy thousand four hundred and forty-eight dollars. If we buy field eighteen, it's seven hundred thousand four hundred sixty-four dollars. If we buy field nineteen, it's uh, seven hundred sixty-two thousand four hundred fifty-six dollars. If we buy field twenty, it is nine hundred eighty thousand four hundred ninety-six dollars. If we buy field fifteen, it's fifteen thousand three hundred. If we bought field 16, it's 471,816 dollars. If we bought field 33, it's uh, 760,740 uh, dollars. If we bought field 2, it's 763,704 dollars. Then uh, let's go ahead and check out what we have for Tabber. So we got a massive Ferguson 3670 base game tractor from Farming Simulator 22, and then we have the Nordestein HK25 plus NS3030 uh, Cedar base game from Farming Simulator 22. Then we have the Pottinger Servo 25, which is another base game plow from Farming Simulator 22. Then we have the Class Carrot 140TD trailer, which is a base game trailer from Farming Center 22. Then we have the uh, Horse Toronto 3FX base game cultivator from FS22. Then we have the Dutzfar Top Liner 4090H uh, Combine base game from Farming Center 22, plus the uh, Dutzfar Top Liner 4090 header. Trailer or header that's a uh, base game header from Farming Center 22. Over here is a fence post with a light box. Can we actually open? Can we actually have the automatic uh, lights turn on the set? I don't think so. And we got some forest area, and then over here. We have the Pottinger Boss Alpine 251 uh, Ford Wagon, and then the Massive Ferguson uh, MF1840 Baby Baylor, Baby Baylor, and then we have the Air Curson, uh FSX 63.72 uh, Bale Loader. Uh, then we have the Sep Coon Soul. F240 uh, mower in the front, and then we have the John Deere 7R270 tractor in the back, and then back over here is some more fence line that uh, shields the property. Right up here is another little bit that will allow us to do some, uh, I believe this is the animals, right? Okay, so this is a sheep barn that would allow 150 sheep. Then over here is the sheep pasture. So that's awesome. And if we go back down, you can hear all the environment sounds and the birds and everything else, and that's really cool. I do uh, think they did that pretty well. Here's your standard hayloft where you unload some stuff and then you have your uh, shed or your silo system that would allow you to uh, go through here, unload some stuff. And then over here is where you would fill in some stuff right down here. And I believe the shed itself is a a uh, neural shed saddle, and this saddle holds how many layers? Do we have any layers in here at all? Nothing there. But it looks like a standard saddle, and then 
Your farmhouse is actually a trailer house, which just has a uh, sleep trigger. But I don't think you can even go to sleep on it, can you? No, so right now you can't even sleep in the, uh, the house trailer. And there's nothing in the back that you can utilize at all. So, uh, FSPT, the authors of this map, if you guys are watching my uh, map review and my initial impressions tour, you need to fix the uh, trailer house in your next update to allow people to uh, take a look and uh, figure out if they can do anything with it. Then, uh, you have, let's see here, where's your main farm? So field one is right here. So what all do you own? You own field four? Okay, let's field four. Oh wait, field four is right over here. So this is just your plot of land. All right, well, here's where let's go chicken. Actually, let's go visit the chicken pasture. Do we actually own the chicken pasture itself? So we can put our 150 dollars or 150 chickens on there. And then over here is a feed that a field that needs to be cultivated. I believe in the description off of Mod Hub, they were saying how you can purchase a, there's a couple of olives and vineyards, I think it was. Here's a house. Here's a cow barn, here's some other stuff right over here. Here's some silos, here's some stuff right over here. Uh, let's see, ooh. Bees. Let's go uh, bee, bee, bees. Well, this is convenient. A little wire source for you to develop your wire trailer directly so you can take care of your animals without having to worry too much. Well, that's awesome. Are we near the beer house? No. Let's go down this way. I'm not finding anything remotely like bee has at all. Oh wait, something might be happening here. So, we have a old, like, something there. I think this might be a refill station, maybe. Then we have what it looks like a sheep pasture with the chickens. So, let's see here. What would we do here? So, if we go over here to the input, this should be our chicken pasture, right? So 150 chickens. This seems like an awfully big thing for chickens. Ooh, cow barn. So this is the slur yard. And this is our cow barn, it looks like, maybe. Right over here, so we go right over here. So we can do 200 cows. That's cool. 
Okay. Now we're just starting to get some more water. That's great. Now, uh, I want to see. So we got a cow barn, we got a chicken pasture. And then we got a large. Okay, let's actually. So there's a couple of beehives right over here. I think right over here is the vineyards, maybe. Then there's the livestock market. So let's go to the large greenhouses and see what we can do. Okay, so if we open, we can activate. Oh, we need ten thousand dollars, but this is awesome. Then we have over here. It looks like maybe ten thousand dollars. And right over here is another thing for ten thousand dollars. And that's the soybean field, and then the gas station's right down here. And then the bale sale is right here. The livestock market hot bear loan is right there. The log sale is right there. The wood chip sale is right there. The seed and fertilizer station is right there. The grain sale is right there. The cooperative is right there. The bakery is available. Let's go back to the bakery. I think this is probably just a standard bakery, but we'll find out. 50000 is the standard price for the bakery. Uh, let's go to the carpentry building, which would be right over here, which we could sell some wood. And that's set up on the and then swamp one right there, and then you can go around and you can buy it for 60,000, that's standard. Then you have the cereal factory. I don't like how they're all placed right next to each other. And the thousand, that's base game stuff. Uh, grain mill. That's right here. 96,000. Then we have the spinnery. Yeah, so they're all base game products, I believe. Sugar mill, supermarket, tail shop. And then we have the sheep pasture. And then there's a lime station right here. And then a debris crusher right over there. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just your standard map and needs a lot of work. I mean, there's a lot of things I could see that if I was the map creating this, if I was making this map, I would change right off the bat. Like the location of like the, all the factories are basically neck to neck and side by side of each other. And that's 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 not that's not cool. I like I like I like maps that are uh, spread out where you can put different maps, different places, and or different productions, different places as well. And uh, so there's a lot of things I could foresee that are needing to be uh, taken care of in this map. But that concludes, or that concludes the new farmer part of the map tour on this uh, wasteland map. And it's an interesting map and it's a great concept. It's similarly built to like No Man's Land and uh, the uh, Calm Land, Calm Lands map that's out for FS22 right now. So I do kind of catch what they're trying to throw down. But uh, there's a lot of things that they need to fix. 
But with that being said, we're going to go ahead and we're going to look into the uh, career or the, uh, the next mode of uh, this map and look at Farm Manager. Uh, we're going to look at farm manager mode of this great looking map or this good looking map. Let's see if we start anything. Alright, we start in this uh, shop spawn location area, which is okay. There's Failed one. You know what? I'm actually going to visit the chicken passer and then I'm going to go make my way over to field one and I'm going to go right through and see if I can find out if the vineyards are over here. Because what sets this map apart is maybe the vineyard looking. Alright. Okay, so we do have what looks like a couple vineyards, which is nice looking. Pretty decent, actually. And then we have another vineyard thing. And then we have some other kind of stuff as well. So that looks pretty good. And we start off with 1,500 pounds, and then over here is a windmill, so there's a little bit of, this is starting to look a little bit nicer. Oh wow, there's another one right over here that's pretty big too. So you may be able to get quite a bit of money off of just doing olives and grape vineyards as well, so that's, that's awesome. Then, uh, but if you go over here, ooh, you get the uh, machines too in uh, farm manager mode as well. So that's all cool. All right, so that concludes the uh, farm manager part. I'm not even gonna look at start, or maybe I should look at start from scratch as well, just to see what kind of uh, stuff we get. All right, let's go start from scratch and go down to Let's go walk or, or uh, let's go wastelands and see what start from scratch would offer us as well. Okay, so we have all the veil holes still. So that's good. Yep. All right. Well, that uh, basically tells me exactly what I need to know. All right. Well, uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this map tour of Wastelands. I did enjoy presenting what the uh, map creators FSPT did on their map. I did uh, figure out what uh, some of the sense that they could change if they needed to in this map and make a few things a little bit different. 
Uh, it's not the best looking mat that I've ever seen, but uh, it will be suitable for it if you want to do uh, grapes and all vineyards and whatnot. So I'm going to leave it here for today. If you enjoyed, I would ask that you get subscribed to the channel, tap the notification bell, and leave a like on the video below. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for your love and support. It's because of your love and support and the reason why I do what I do on this channel. And uh, with that being said, I hope you guys have a great evening. And uh, I'm going to probably, or a great evening or a great morning, depending on whenever you watch this. And, uh, or just, I'm hoping you'll have a great, uh, well, let's just call it a great uh, 23rd of November 2022. And uh, we will see you guys uh, later. Uh, peace out.